SpaceX has gone from Elon Musk's idea of a greenhouse experiment on Mars to launching the majority of US rockets in less than two decades. As Musk has stated that early years of SpaceX indicate a company on the verge of extinction. After three failed efforts to reach space, his crew scrounged enough parts for a fourth rocket, and SpaceX's Falcon 1 rocket made history. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Elon Musk Evolution, where we tell you all the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. In today's video, we are going to talk about the insane engineering masterpiece of Elon Musk SpaceX rockets. Musk's company was not an overnight success. Even if he provided the idea, employees like now President and COO Gwen Shotwell and investors like the Founders Fund members all helped shape SpaceX into the company it is today. NASA and the Air Force have awarded SpaceX billions of dollars in launch contracts. It also transports payloads for private businesses. SpaceX is now worth more than $30 billion and employs over 6,000 people across the United States with a backlog of orders for its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. The business is launching quickly. In 2019, SpaceX will face its most difficult hurdle yet, launching humans for NASA. If Musk's long-term aim of sending humans to Mars is to be accomplished, SpaceX must be able to launch astronauts into space on a regular and safe basis. Last year, Elon Musk's SpaceX smashed its own yearly orbital launch record, and it plans to increase the scorching pace even more in 2022, to one per week on average. Sandra Magnus, a panel member on a key space agency oversight committee, revealed that the private corporation is aiming for an ambitious 52 launch manifest for 2022 during a meeting of a key space agency oversight committee on Thursday. During a meeting of space agency's aerospace safety advisory panel, Magnus, an astronaut and former executive director of the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, said, that's an incredible pace, ASAP. In 2021, SpaceX completed 31 launches, breaking their previous record of 26 launches set in 2020. Last year, SpaceX accounted for nearly a fifth of all successful orbital rocket launches worldwide, with the business basically keeping up with China. With three successful Falcon 9 launches so far this year, and two more expected before the end of the month, the corporation is already on a weekly average pace to start the year. SpaceX has four Falcon Heavy rockets slated for launch in 2022, in addition to its Falcon 9 launches. Magnus did not say whether the 52 planned launches will include test flights of SpaceX's Starship prototype rockets. CNBC's inquiries for clarification were not answered by either ASAP or SpaceX. SpaceX's ability to partially reuse its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets by landing rocket boosters and recovering each half of the nose cone following launches has been a crucial component of the company's quick launch rate. SpaceX reuses rockets as a strategy to enhance its launch rate without considerably increasing manufacturing. The company's leadership has indicated that reused rockets can reduce launch costs down to under $30 million per, from a usual $60 million to $90 million price. Magnus did not specify whether the 52 planned launches will include test flights of SpaceX's prototype Starship rockets. ASAP and SpaceX did not respond to CNBC's request for clarification. SpaceX reuses rockets as a way to boost its launch rate without having to ramp up production. The company's leadership has stated that reusing rockets can lower launch costs from $60 million to $90 million to under $30 million each launch. Falcon 9 is practically standing on the shoulders of Titans, as they say in literature. Several of the lessons acquired by NASA have been improved on. How can you build a rocket knowing that you want to do things that have never been done before? We scribbled on a piece of paper. SpaceX opted to try the first ever landing of a first stage orbital rocket in 2015, after years of designing and testing the Falcon 9. It's been likened to dropping a pencil from the top of the Empire State Building and having to land it on its eraser on a postage stamp. Human journeys to Mars will require heavy lift capacity, and reusable heavy lift vehicles are required to settle on Mars. Two important milestones must be met without crew before SpaceX can launch crew. The first is the Demonstration 1 mission, also known as Demo-1, in which SpaceX must fly their manned Dragon capsule to the International Space Station and back autonomously. The launch escape test, often known as the in-flight abort test, is the second test. If the rocket fails, the emergency abort device in the Dragon capsule is activated, ejecting the capsule safely away from the rocket. Then there's the Demonstration 2 test, or Demo 2, which is the third and last test. 
NASA astronauts Bob and Doug will be sent to the International Space Station by this rocket. The Demonstration 1 mission, also known as Demo 1 mission, is an uncrewed flight in which we fly the Dragon to Space Station independently to dock and return. The Crew Dragon Demo 1 mission begins today with the launch. This is one of SpaceX's most difficult tests yet. Uncrewed voyage to and from the International Space Station lasting five days. You're basically pouring enough energy into the spacecraft to make it as if it were a meteor. It's almost as if folks don't understand what's going on. The first is the main engine cutoff, or MECO, which occurs when the nine Merlin 1D engines that you can see on your screen right now cut off just before the stage separation. For the first stage, it restarts its engines, spins itself around, and re-enters the Earth's atmosphere, gently descending to a landing on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. The landing legs have been deployed and Falcon 9 has successfully landed. The Crew Dragon spacecraft is pushed into orbit by the second stage after the first rocket has separated. The Dragon spacecraft is being launched into orbit by the second stage, which is firing up its engine. The second stage separates Dragon and flies away once it was successfully placed into the orbit it was designed for. The separation of the second stage from the Dragon capsule is the final phase of the launch sequence, and it is a critical one. The launch vehicle will deposit in a low Earth orbit, which is below the International Space Station. It will perform a series of burns or maneuvers to catch up to the space station, matching its speed and then slowing down when it gets up to it. It will now pass the speeder if it runs too fast. If it runs too slowly, it will eventually be unable to catch up with the speeder. So it's the same technique. This is a critical operation since this is the vehicle's first flight, and we don't want to collide with the space station. In the end, the vehicle is essentially self-flying, but we have ground control that monitors it and sends up a certain number of directives. There's also a level of access that allows those on the space station to view what's going on on Dragon while maintaining touch with ground control. The Crew Dragon spacecraft employs an autonomous technology that can detect the position of the space station in relation to the capsule and guide it into a dockless station. Orientation is as predicted. Vehicles are in the corridor and an evaluation is being conducted. We come to the halt approximately 20 meters from the International Space Station's docking port. This is the first time a commercial vehicle was docked with the International Docking Adapter, which is the port on the space station where commercial ships will dock. As a result, all sites will be used for the first time. Crew Dragon has a number of safeguards in place to ensure that if something goes wrong, the capsule will autonomously retract, keeping the station secure. All the video and overlay appear to be normal, and all status fields are in the anticipated state. The 16 Draco thrusters are in charge of orienting the spacecraft in the right direction and slowing it down to the point where it will come out of orbit and re-enter the atmosphere. Re-entry is one of the most dangerous parts of the operation since it cannot be stopped once it begins. When Dragon impacts the atmosphere at around 17,000 miles per hour, its heat shield would be put to the test as the vehicle is engulfed in a massive hydrosonic flame. And this is it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts? Tell us in the comments section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.